I'm Dr. Karna Avatisyan and today I want to talk about Aspergillus. This disease is hazardous both for bees and humans. So let's see how this disease works. But before that, you can also subscribe to my channel to watch new videos when they are available. Stone brood is considered to be a pathogen of low virulence in honeybee colonies, yet very little is known regarding the stone brood and honeybee host parasite system. A number of species from the genus Aspergillus are facultative parasites and have been reported as agents of stone brood. In colonies showing the sy symptoms of stone brood, hard mummified larvae that have been transformed by the fungus are visible in the brood cells. On rarer occasions, infections in adult bees have been reported. Aspergillus flavus has been cited as the primary species responsible, with Aspergillus fumagulus occurring occasionally. Aspergillus niger has been also identified as a dominant species in affected colonies. However, the contribution that each of these species play in causing overt stone brood symptoms has not been determined, though it is generally accepted that pathogenicity occurs only in colonies weakened by other factors, the specific conditions predisposing the onset of disease are not fully understood. In addition, it is multifactorial disease with a combination of host and environmental components required for overt disease to occur. There are no treatments to eradicate the disease. It is transitional and disappears spontaneously. However, the correct apiary location, proper management, and the regular disinfection of beekeeping equipment are effective prevention measures. Although the death of entire colonies affected by the fungus may occur, the disease is usually transitional and subsides spontaneously, especially if the previous measures are applied. Due to their economic and public health importance, there are many comprehensive studies on Aspergillus. In contrast, relatively few studies have been focused on Aspergillus species as the etiological agent of stone brood in honeybee colonies. A number of species cause of stone brood disease with Aspergillus fumagutus Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus niger being most commonly associated with honeybees. Stone brood is generally not considered to be a major importance as a pathogen in honeybee colonies. Some species are relatively unspecialized molds occurring saprophytically on combs and other hive substrates. It is believed that stone brood does not usually appear unless the colony's defenses are weakened by other factors. However, the specific optimal conditions required for pathogenicity to occur remain unknown. One of the properties of Aspergillus is that they are thermotolerant and can survive in temperatures up to 75 Celsius, which has no doubt contributed to their success as wide-ranging opportunistic pathogens. Environmental conditions could potentially facilitate the buildup of Aspergillus populations, leading to increased larval mortalities and the risk of mycotoxin contamination in bee products. It is possible that a high number of stone brood cases go undetected and the infected brood could be removed from cells by workers before evidence of the disease can be seen. Though some countries, especially in the Commonwealth of Independent States territory, sell some antibiotic-based medication for stone brood and most beekeepers who have the issue by them, however, there is no medication that can fully treat stone brood so far. Beekeepers should replace diseased combs which can act as a reservoir of stone brood disease spores, as well as cleaning away mummified larvae from the bottom boards 
and around the entrance of the hive. These activities will remove the main source of infection within a hive and assist in preventing reinfection of the disease. Hives should also be placed in a well-ventilated, dry area with the sun facing the entrance of the hive to reduce conditions that favor the disease. Lack of population may be a contributing factor in the colony's ability to ventilate properly. Honeybee stocks differ in susceptibility to stone root disease, so beekeepers should replace the infected colony's queen bee with one supplied by a reputable breeder. This variation in susceptibility is mainly due to the differences in hygienic ability of the honeybees to uncap and remove diseased brood. By selecting queen bees or obtaining honeybees from hives that show this trait, the effects of stone brood disease can be reduced. Huge quantity of pollen that bees bring into the hive and can't process well is conducive to disease manifestation. To avoid these, all you need to do is to keep bees strong with a young queen, put the hives away from the humid places with enough natural honey and pollen inside. If you have diseased beehive, you must keep hygiene rules before going ahead to the healthy hives. This especially means changing the gloves, tools, and whatever is used that could be potential contaminator. This disease is transferable to human. In human beings, Aspergillus flavus spores cause aspergillosis. This is an infection that mainly attacks the respiratory system, but can also affect the eyes and air canals. People with weak immune systems are the most and easily affected group. Beekeepers should use humid masks when working bees with this disease to avoid getting contaminated. That is all for today. I hope this video was informative for you. Thanks for watching.